talk more about this. Hillary Rosen is a CNN political commentator and Democratic strategist. Ford O'Connell is a Republican strategist, the chairman of the Civic Forum PAC, and a former advisor to the McCain-Palin presidential campaign. Welcome to both of you. Hey, Good Carol. to see you. Good to see you both. So, Hillary, I know everybody's making fun of Mitt Romney, but at least he's talking about the wage gap. At least he's acknowledging that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with it. In fact, I'm, I, I think all Republicans should talk about it, and, and they should also encourage their colleagues on Capitol Hill to raise the minimum wage to pass the president's education plan, which would do the most of, of any program out there to get people ready for jobs in this new economy, to pass an infrastructure bill, which would help put the middle class back to work and fix our, our roads and bridges and airports. So I, I think what we're going to hear from the president tonight is actually those big picture themes, which is let's everybody be talking about what to do about those folks who have not benefited from this recovery. And contrary to what I think some folks said on your earlier tape piece, the president is going to take some credit for things getting better. He is going to be positive. That there is going to be a sense of, 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 a, of a bit of a morning in America again, I think, after this speech, that, that we are doing really well and there's more to do, but he needs Republicans to work with him to do it. Well, well Hillary, <laughs> I, I find that quite humorous. Tonight, the president is not interested in, in compromise. He is in finding common ground. He is interested in trolling Republicans and trying to, again, paint them is tools for the rich. One would think after the historic midterm election we had where Republicans gained control of the Senate for the first time since 2006 and increased their lead in the House of Republicans to a level we haven't seen since 1928, the president would be interested in, in, in finding common ground and actually improving economic mobility and stopping wage stagflation, which, stagnation, which has occurred under his taxing and regulating economy. You guys basically under the delusion that we are one more tax hike away from prosperity, and that's just not the case. I do tip my hat to the president, though, for basically highlighting what, is, what most Americans are concerned about, and that's economic mobility and wa wage stagnation. Well, well, Ford, you know, we I, I will say, well, Ford, and I want, to I want to press Ford on this issue. I think that many middle-class Americans and lower-middle-class Americans are having trouble, even though the economy is getting better, because the wage gap is huge. And Republicans are acknowledging that. Not just Mitt Romney, but Jeb Bush and Rand Paul, right? But they've got to put forth ideas that the middle class can wrap their minds around and accept. I I, wait, I totally agree with you. Let me, let me say someone else is also putting forth those initiatives, and that's Marco Rubio. The problem here is that the president is basically putting forth a retread of his last five State of the Union speeches. I think he's identified the root cause himself, but I, I don't think he's identified the root cause. I think he's identified the problem, and he obviously needs to put forth real initiatives that are going to actually work. I do agree with you. With The Republicans need to do the same. Let me try one. I'm going to throw it right out there, and that's past Simpson Bowles. Something else we should worry about when it comes to the play of the middle, middle class is we should stop importing so much cheap foreign labor because it's really hurting wages in America. So those are two things I would throw right out there that I think Hillary might agree with. So, and, you know, and Hillary, we, Hillary, I also will only say that um, President Obama will roll out these ideas knowing that Republicans don't like them. And he's rolling out these ideas at a time when Republicans control both houses of Congress. He could have done this, you know, back in a day not so long ago when Democrats had control of Congress. Why didn't he force well, them to go through the legislature, in other words? I, 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 the truth is that there are some ideas that the president will be, you know, have rolled out in the past week that have originated with Republicans. For instance, the president is going to call tonight for something that many Democrats won't even like, which is a lowering of the corporate tax rate. And that's, you know, a brave thing for Democrats to do. So if Republicans respond the way Ford just did, which is trashing the president and criticizing everything he does, then that, that will end up being a, a not a very productive year. If right. Republicans instead say, you know what, the president's trying to, to meet us part way. There are things we can work on together, and let's do that. That's what the country wants to hear. Wait a minute. I, I think that, that you've just taken what I've said out of context. What the president is proposing, okay, particularly on capital gains side, is not actually tax reform. He's talking about increasing rates and opening more loopholes and making it more complicated. The president is not interested in tax reform. Yes, he does talk about it, but he has had opportunities, whether it's Simpson Bowles or other corporate tax reform, to do this. This is a situation where he's saying something good, and it sounds great in front of the State of the Union, but he has no intent to follow through. I do think well, we should have corporate tax reform because I might, think it will help put America back. Here.
middle class back to work. I, you All know, right. the president is, is giving out a, a, a program. He's laying out his values tonight. I don't think it's going to be policy heavy. I think it's going to be values heavy. And the Republicans are going to have a choice whether they want to engage or whether they don't. All right. We're going to have to leave it there. Thanks to you both. Hillary Rosen, Ford O'Connell. Many thanks. Thank you.